of the Purple Lit Nerd podcast. I had planned to do it the week before, and part of me wanted to give up, and I said, no, you know what, I'll be damned if these people are going to take away something that I really want to do, and so I started doing it, and that helped me get through a lot of that, because I really love talking about literature, and I really love talking about books, and the first book I covered on that show was uh, American Gods by Neil Gaiman, which is awesome. <laughs> Highly recommend. Um, I have, like, the full cast recording, like, 10th anniversary edition off of Audible. Oh, I highly recommend that, too. Very well done. Very well done, indeed. And... um Neil Gaiman is so amazingly adorable. He really is. Like, I don't know. He, he's, he's like he's like the patron saint of adorkability. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, but because of, of, of having to sit down and go, okay, well, first I need to define some literary terms, and then I need to figure out how I'm going to break down American gods, and then I have to do the research to back up that breakdown. And then in the middle of that, I went, oh, wait, we've got the holidays. I should take a break from American Gods and do a holiday-themed book. So then I had to find my holiday-themed book and break that, listen to it, and break it down. Um, and, 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 and that process of, of preparing and recording and posting and promoting and all this stuff for that podcast gave me something to strive for and I went from surviving in November with just you know sort of the lit nerd podcast being a footnote to that survival to realizing not not necessarily thriving but you know going you know what I like podcasting and so some somewhere in the middle of December I went, I should start another podcast. And I started sort of like planning it out and and thinking about things I wanted to talk about. And kind of the irony in that situation was after I started developing this show, the Positivity Podcast, um, that was when a lot of the shit with my old landlord started going down. So <laughs> now that I have some small benediction of hindsight with that situation, that was... I, I'm, I'm starting to realize that when things start going wrong, it usually means I'm doing something right, <laughs> and it's just sort of isolating what is right, and so I think podcasting was the right thing to do, because my life started going to shit as a result. <laughs> I know, right? Doesn't make any sense, but... Now, I, I mean, now I wouldn't say necessarily that I'm thriving 100%, but I'm I'm at least 85% thriving right now. I got a roof over my head. I got food in my stomach. I got juice in my vape. I got a job that I like to complain about, but it's still a job, and I'm grateful for it. I've got a... I've got an all caps someone <laughs> who shares these amazing ideas and moments with me that help keep me looking at things from the right perspective. I I mean, I have a lot to complain about, and I have a long way to go before I am exactly where I need to be in order to say, yes, I am 100% thriving over here. But I just wanted to take this moment in this show to, to, to be grateful for the struggles and to to take a moment to 
have the benediction of hindsight. Like maybe this huge situation with, you know, CPS and and my son and, and all this stuff going on, maybe this isn't what I want to be dealing with. Maybe this is very upsetting and maybe I can't see how it's going to fit into this bigger picture. But I've got 30 plus years of... Uh, of hindsight to look back on to help give perspective to this current situation and that's good and so um i share this with you in the hopes that maybe you know i mean i everybody everybody has struggles everybody has pain i know you've got something going on in your life right now that is causing you tremendous pain and tremendous struggle and it is awful and I am so sorry you're going through it I don't have to know the specifics of it but I know what it's like to struggle and I know what it's like to be in pain but hang on because you've overcome things in the past and just because you're not overcoming this situation right now in the time frame and on the schedule you want it to happen that doesn't mean that you're not going to get the benediction of hindsight in the future you've just got to survive until then you just got to go one day at a time one breath at a time if that's too overwhelming and there were tons of times and in november and december and january and february even where even taking things one day at a time like the 12 step way that was that was too much for me. I just, you know, I wake up in the morning and go, oh my God, I can't do today. I, I just can't do it. You know, typical white girl millennial. I just can't even. I can't even, <laughs> you know. And so I was just like, no, you know what? I can take this breath. I can take another breath. I can get out of bed. I can take a shower. I can get dressed. I can get on the bus. I can go to work. I can do my job. You know, and it was just one breath at a time, one moment at a time. Because everything else was so overwhelming. And and because I reminded myself that each little thing, that's all I had to tackle for that moment was get out of bed, get dressed, go to work. You know, just one moment, one breath at a time. That helped me get through to where I am, where I had some small benediction of hindsight. I had some small hindsight on this situation where I go, okay, I see that decision that I made right there is actually going to work in my favor. Or that decision that I made over there is going to work in my favor, you know? <laughs> and it is so hard when you're in that darkness. And I get it, and I get it. I know, I know everyone has moments like this, has situations like this. And all you got to do is just take it one breath at a time. Because sometimes one day at a time is just too much. And the more days you give yourself, the more moments you give yourself, the closer you get to the benediction of hindsight. And we come full circle. (laughs) Even though I've said the benediction of hindsight like 50 bazillion times in this podcast. So... This morning, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for where I am. I'm grateful for what I have. I know there's still work to be done. I know there's still pain to be felt. I know there's still struggle to be had. But one one breath at a time. So that's all I have to say about that. If you would like to find me anywhere on the internet... (laughs) 
just to make you laugh. I, hey, I'm making myself laugh. You probably get to sit there going, that's not funny. Um, if you want to find me anywhere on the internet, purplebecca923 is what you need to look for. P-U-R-P-L-E-B-E-C-C-A-923. That is my username on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. That is also my email address, purplebecca923 at gmail.com. And it is my website, purplebecca923.com. Woo! So, yeah. Contact me. Hither, thither, and yon. (laughs) So, um... Until next time, remember, go out there and create what you deserve. Believe that you deserve it and go create it. And then you can fly with the penguins. Yay! Toodaloo!